In my quest to find a replacement to my old rat hunting gun, a Benjamin Discovery, I've been building and testing two CO2 powered pellet guns to see which one would be the best. In this video, I'll be comparing my Crossman 2240 SBR and my modified Diana Trail Scout. I've already fully modified and reviewed my Trail Scout, and if you want to see that video, click on the gray card in the corner. But today, I'll be revealing my Crossman 2240 SBR. This is a Crossman 2240 that I've dressed up to act as my work gun on the farm. I built the suppressor, added the bipod mount, and modified a Crossman 2240 stock to make its length of pull shorter. I bought an aftermarket steel breech and mounted a dovetail to Picatinny rail converter on top. I bought the magazine from James Thorogood and it holds 9 shots. Now for the comparison I've chosen 3 characteristics that I think are important for a pest control gun. First up is the grouping test. I tested both rifles at 25 yards, making 12 3 shot groups, and measured the distance from the two farthest pellets. The Crossman got an average grouping of 0.8 inches, while the Trail Scout got a grouping of 0.72. While the Trail Scout won by 800th of an inch, I had to spend $100 on 15 different pellets to find the best one. For the 2240, all I had to do is go to Walmart and pick up a 500 round tin for 8 bucks, and I've got a comparable grouping. Next is the shot count. The Crossman 2240 gets about 35 rounds per CO2 cartridge, while the Trail Scout gets around 150 shots for the three CO2 cartridges it uses. Loading the 2240 with the cartridge is easy, while the Trail Scout is a little bit more involved. Also, the Trail Scout has to use three cartridges. I tried using only one cartridge and two empties, but the gun doesn't get enough pressure to shoot. For overall length, the 2240 is 29 inches long, while the Trail Scout is 39 inches long. While these are measurements for my modified guns, the factory originals will be very similar. I personally like shorter guns because they are more maneuverable and easier to travel with. Now I'm going to go into the pros and cons for each gun. The pros for the 2240 is that it's highly customizable. I'd say it is the AR-15 of the air gun world. It is super easy to buy replacement parts directly from Crossman, and there are plenty of aftermarket parts. Secondly, it's a very accurate and great grouping gun with standard pellets. You don't need to buy JSBs or H&Ns to make great groups with this gun. For cons, I'd say it doesn't come with a lot of features I'd like to have standard on my air guns. Features like a suppressor, a bipod, or a magazine. For Crossman, uh, you can buy a Crossman 2300 or 2400 that come with a stock and dovetail rail, but, but that's it. The pros for the Trail Scout is that it comes with a suppressor and a magazine system. Two pretty important features in my experience. The first con for this gun is it isn't as consistent as, as I would like. While this gun beat my 2240 in the grouping test, it doesn't feel nearly as consistent as the 2240. The pellets in the Trail Scout will drop down the more you shoot it, but in the 2240 they'll stay on target the whole time you're shooting. The second con is that you're going to have to buy expensive ammo to run this gun accurately, and you can only buy ammo, this kind of ammo, online. The last con is the power system. You have to use three powerlets, and once the pressure gets too low, you'll have to dry fire the gun until pressure is safe enough to unscrew. This can take 5-10 to ten minutes of dry firing. If you unscrew the cap before the pressure is low enough, then you'll blow the o-ring and possibly ruin it. I've bought more o-rings just for this case, but it's annoying that I have to keep spare o-rings on me when shooting this gun for, for long periods. Both of these guns are good in their own right, but the kind of person who should buy them is different. If you're looking for a no-nonsense CO2 rifle that comes with a lot of great features and you just want to shoot targets or the occasional squirrel, then the Diana Trail Scout is the rifle for you. If you want a pest control gun that you can build as you grow in knowledge of what you like and don't like, then the Crossman 2240 is the gun for you. Both guns work for my purpose of killing rats on my family's chicken farm, but I would pick the Crossman 2240 over the Trail Scout for one reason, and that would be the power system. To me, the power system of the 2240 is a lot more convenient than the power system of the Trail Scout. In a pest control situation, I might shoot five shots before dumping out the gas. I, I don't like to leave guns pressurized, especially for weeks at a time. The Crossman 2240 comes with a safe way to dump out the gas, whereas the Trail Scout <laughs> might break a window when you try to unscrew the cap at full pressure and it, and it blows right off. Anyways, that's all I got. 
if you want to see me killing rats with my Benjamin Discovery, a PCP 22 caliber air rifle, uh, you can click on this video on the screen. Um, if you have any questions, ask me below. But anyways, thanks for watching.